put out a hit. That first time, I'm not going to lie, I kept the bills with me. Because, you know, with no bills, they can't get paid. So I kept the bills with me that first time. Cool. I come back. They flew me right back. It was a problem. I was like, okay, so they really did fly me back. So, I, you know, I gave them the bills. This time, when I told them I needed to be home for Christmas, because I'm going to Atlanta to see my kids, my mom. They flew me out on the 21st. They paid for my flight again. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Seriously, when the going gets tough, you don't want a criminal lawyer, right? You want a criminal lawyer. Know what I'm saying? Hello? Brother man, brother man, brother man. What's going on, yo? <clears throat> What's going on, man? What's going on? We back on the, back on the scene. Gideon, Alvin, Gideon, Gideon, bro. Wow. What's cracking, bro? Bro, two days before Christmas, my guy. Two days, Damn. two two days before Christmas, my guy. What what yeah, I, now, now let's 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 rewind let's rewind back because the last time we talked well we we talked since then but the last time we talked you you was in the accident uh you was with uh you was with then VL trucking but I heard through the grapevine and I don't know if you heard because you no longer with the company but. I heard VL Trucking kind of went, uh, kind of went poof and then reemerged as a new company called Ace. Did, did you yeah. hear anything about that? Yeah, when I left, what happened with VL and me is I separated. And I told them that I can't do this lease thing anymore because it's not beneficial to me. They said, well, look, I'll tell you what I could do for you. I could put you on an ace. And at ace, you can be a um, company driver at ace. I'll pay you 78 cents a mile. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. She said, we keep the owner operators and the leasing people at VL, but the company drivers, we keep at ace. And the company drivers are on, um, what was that they said? Company drivers are on um, still 1099, but they have no responsibilities to truck, and it's a better safety score over there. Okay, okay, so okay. So I worked there for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. I got tired, and I was trying to get something to be home more often, so I left. And I ended up with another company, a smaller company called Rush Freight. Okay. Okay. So, so before we talk about them, so I also heard, if I'm not sure if it's true or not, but <clears throat> VL was 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 pushing all of their company, their company drivers, to become lease drivers. Did did you hear anything on that part? Yes. They're separating the two brands. Ace is going to be their company driver brand. VL is going to be their lease driver brand. But they want everyone to be leased because think about it. It's quite beneficial for them. They give us the, the shittiest load. They take 20% for doing nothing. They're making money off the fuel cart. They give us the heaviest load as a lease driver. 40,000, 45, 50, you know, 45, 42. Everything's over 40,000 when you're leasing with them. But when you go company, the heaviest load I've ever hauled as a company driver with Ace, 20,000 pounds. I've Man. had loads as light as 2,000 pounds. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, well, uh... so they're going to get you to pay the fuel and all the expenses. And then on top of that, take 20% off of what they tell you the load pays. Once again, what they tell you the load pays, they take 20% off of that. Mm. What do they have to lose? All they do is gain. 
when you go to the office, they have Ferraris, they have Porsches, they have Lamborghinis in the parking lot. So drivers ain't making it. So wait a minute now. Now wait a minute because you know the you know VL trucking was was a thing. I say maybe about a year, year and a half ago. And then now controversial company Super Eagle is now the thing. Is does VL and and Super Eagle have anything to do with each other? I mean, nah, I, I mean, they are you sure? The only thing they have in common is that only thing they have in common is that it's some Ukrainian friend. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Well, enough, enough about that. You you moved on to what you thought was greener pastures, and yeah, and two days before Christmas, like you know, let's 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 pull it back for a minute, guys, because to be honest, you know, everybody keeps saying that this 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 time of the year is supposed to be the the happiest time of the year. Like it's supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year, but for some odd oh, reason, oh. it's always the bad time of the year for truck drivers. Like, if uh, if you guys haven't been watching, y'all know about that company up in uh, what's that, California or on the other side of the world that that quote unquote went bankrupt and put all their drivers out of out out of commission. And then there was a few other drivers that had issues with their companies so th th this time of the year is really not that great time for truckers man and for you Gideon two days before Christmas what happened bro well we winded a little before that Thanksgiving I told him I wasn't working Thanksgiving so I worked you know, like three weeks out. I'm only required to do 10 days. And I work like three weeks out so I can get my money together and take care of some things. So they said, okay, well, we got to put the truck in the shop. So bring the truck to the Illinois and we'll fly you home. Everything went off without a hitch. That first time, I'm not going to lie, I kept the bills with me. Because, you know, with no bills, they can't get paid. So I kept the bills with me that first time. Cool. I come back. They flew me right back. It was a problem. I was like, okay, so they really did fly me back. So, I, you know, I gave them the bills. This time, when I told them I needed to be home for Christmas, because I'm going to Atlanta to see my kids, my mom, they flew me out on the 21st. They paid for my flight again. I go, you know, pick up my rental car, drive over to Atlanta, come on, you know, as soon as I leave on the 23rd, I notice my paycheck hasn't arrived yet. So I call him like, hey, what's going on? I haven't seen my paycheck yet. Guy said, I'm checking on it. The guy, he tells me his name is Dan, but his name is Denai Buron. He's Moroccan. And so I said, any updates? He said, no, still check. So then I reach out to the guy who told me his name was Mike. His name is um, Milo Nisik. And all these people's names, I have their home addresses. So if I wanted to be ghetto, I could come speak to them, but I'm not going to do that. So I text him. He says, look, they don't want to work with you anymore. They're letting you go. Um, they're going to check the truck out. And Tuesday, they're going to see about getting you a final check. I said, wait, what? Never mind, I'm on the road heading to Atlanta. You just told me I'm fired. Wait, wait, Craig. Craig, wait. How do you get fired on the road? I guess I'm a stupid motherfucker. <laughs> Got fired on my day off. Uh, he gets fired on your day off on the road, bro. He gets fired on your day off. I don't know. So, so you, so you on the phone, you, you, you check, you know, you, you check your bank account. 
you know, you got the good app on your phone, the the good Chase app. You click it in there and you're inspecting about a couple of G's. But instead, you it, it's still $20 in the account. You call them up and they're like, yo, bro, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, light over here. Like, what's what's going on? And they mm-hmm. and they just they just said that well, we're putting together your last paycheck. Yeah. Two days before Christmas. Mm-hmm. Now get this. I have child support and rent to pay. I was gonna pay that with these last two checks. My rent is fourteen fifty. My girl is looking at me like, okay, so what you gonna do? My ex-wife, mother of my two kids, my child support is sixteen hundred. I don't have it. So now I'm SOL and I'm wondering what I'm gonna do. Because everything's falling apart. Man, here here we go again. What's what's the what's the name of this what's the name of this company and they out of Illinois? So what's the name of this company? Rush Freight. Rush Freight, and they are out of Indiana. They're out of Indiana. So they're so they're a black ops company out of Indiana, which yeah, a couple of black ops company are are out of Indiana and Illinois. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now just this, just like just I like have that. A lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff on my truck, including the memory foam mattress that I paid for out of my pocket. My Oculus Quest 2 for when I have some downtime. My truck GPS. I had a um 10 inch garment. All my stuff is gone. What? Wait, 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 bro. You need to you you need to run up on it. You you need to what? Run up on it. You need to what? Run up on it. You need to run up on him, bro. I mean this did I I was just talking about I was talking about black ops companies doing this this stuff to drivers. And that's why you that's why you see drivers out here like losing their minds. On, on on black ops companies because of of stuff like this, man. So in other words, you 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 they I mean they didn't pack up your stuff and sent it to you, or you you no. couldn't go back and get it. What what's what's the what's the deal, man? They essentially stole my stuff, so I sent them a letter making a formal request for all my items to be returned. And I've listed everything. It's over $3,000 worth of items on my truck. I'm so happy I didn't leave my MacBook on. So now I'm at home, all these companies, I'm reaching out because I need something quick. I'm reaching out to a company called MGR Freight. They're paying a dollar a mile. Be be careful with them too, man. I, I haven't heard. I'm not leaving much on the truck. I I haven't heard. I haven't heard. Uh, well, I I haven't heard so much good stuff uh, from them. But you know, like you said, you you need something quick. I mean, you know, black ops companies, you know, are twofold though. I mean, they they can they can do you dirty, but if you need something quick, fast, in a hurry, they they are good. You know, because they don't they don't check your DAC report. Well, at least some of them don't anyway. And they they'll slap you right on the truck, you know, right off the you know right off the rip, man. But uh, in this situation right here, I mean, not only that they that they snatched your check from you, they they snatch your gear as well, man. You know, I mean, it's just you know, this is why I tell new jack, new jacks when they come out, you know, they be bringing everything in the kitchen sink, and I, I be like, look, don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that, you know, duffel bag, book bag, in a, in a, in a hygiene bag. You don't need. I mean, you're a company driver. You don't need to put 
all that stuff on a on a company truck. I learned that when I was with U.S. Express when I had all my stuff on there and 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 they told me I had 24 hours to get my stuff out out the truck and I had I had clothes, hats, book bags, pans, pots and pans, air fryers. You know, I had shit on top on on the top bunk. I had, I had a, a a fridge that was on the top bunk. I had I had shit that was that was in I mean that was in the storage on the bottom bunk. And when dude told me I had to get all that shit off there in 24 fucking hours and told me he was gonna put me on a bus. Yeah, that that was the last time that I brought everything in the kitchen sink, bro. I had duffel bag, book bag, and a hygiene bag. That's it. When if you go back. In my Instagram, because me and you follow each other on Instagram. If you go back on my Instagram where you saw where I left that other company, you saw three bags on that picture. That was a book bag, duffel bag, and, <laughs> and a hygiene bag. That was it. That was it. That's crazy, man. Not only that, so yeah, they owe, so they owe you a so they owe you a paycheck, about two bands. And they owe you, and they owe you for your stuff, which is about another three bands. So we looking at about let's round it up. We looking at about six bands right there, right? Yeah, because they owe me actually. They owe me about three because it's about two for that week, and I did a little half of it. So yeah, they owe me about three for my pay plus my stuff. Man, you need to run up on it. Yeah, you need to run up on them, bro. So what's so what rate? I mean, you know, of course you, you know, getting yourself together, you know, getting another company wise, but you know, in, in the you know where where you at as far as as far as getting your you know getting your your final pay and and your stuff back. You mentioned something about sending them a formal letter. What what else did you do? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a response. Because my legal counsel advised because he told me what to do. But my legal counsel advised me to send a formal request and BCC her. So I did that. So she, she you know, the, uh, I guess they got a little scared. They started tagging people. I started calling out real names, addresses in, in that letter. So I guess they see I'm not, I'm not playing. I mean, this. I, I know we live. I know we live in the All of y'all, Gideon. I'm, I'm going to need. I'm, I'm going to need to know. Fashion. I'm not saying this. I'm. I'm going to need to know who's your counsel because a lot of people that had issues with black ops companies and they reached out to councils. That was, you know, they had to reach out to councils out in that area, i.e., Illinois. But they was told by their councils that they couldn't do anything. Like they, I mean, oh. they got hemmed up with their paychecks and all like that. They reached out for legal representation, and and the legal refer representation told them that they couldn't do nothing. Uh, I'm not comfortable speaking on this just yet, but I want to see what happens from my request. I'll leave it at that. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, Gideon, man. Yeah. As all, if I get a resolution, then I will reveal my count. That's that's what's up, man. That's what's up, Gideon, man. As always, thank you for, you know, shouting. I mean, you know, hollering at me, man. I mean, you know, we always been good. You no, know, I like that good guy right here. You know, uh, whew, I I hope uh, I hope everything work out for you, man. Um. And again, like I said before, guys, these black ops companies, you got to be you, you got to do your due diligence and be real careful and mindful who uh, who and I mean, who you work. I mean, who you want to drive with. And if any of you guys and I know a lot of you <laughs> want to come on and share your your testimony about any of these black ops companies, feel free to uh, reach out to me and, you know, we'll we'll get your story out there. So. Um, 
Gideon, before you get on up out of here, man, um, have you considered controversial company Super Eagle? I've seen it. I've been seeing Super Eagle for a couple of years now, but I don't really know anything about him. I've seen one person who was there. He said after expenses and everything, he'll take home maybe two, maybe three grand a week. But I don't want to be responsible for the truck. I'm past that. Like, I've done it. It's just not me. Because all they're going to do is give all the good loads to the company drivers and give the leftovers to the because they don't have to pay anything. Well, woo, VL trucking. Um, like I said, they 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 crip back up on my radar uh, via you know a couple of drivers that reached out to me and talked about them. Um, wow. Well, Gideon, man, thank you very much. Uh, you know, of course, Christmas has passed. Um, we're going into the new year, so hopefully everything works out for you, bruh. Uh, definitely next time, you know, get that, you know, get up with me and uh and uh and let's see what's up, man. No doubt, man. I got a lasagna and the cake in the oven. So I'm gonna finish cooking, I'll uh, catch up with you later. All right, bro. Take it easy. Good night and have a and, and have a good rest of the week, my guy. Yeah.